Hi guys and welcome to the second lesson in radioactivity. First of all, we're going to go through the answers from the last lesson. So make sure you're checking the answers and filling in any corrections that you may need to do. I would also advise to do a little bit of embedding of anything that you've got wrong. Okay, so uh, slide. And second slide. Because you're pausing and writing down your answers. Okay, moving on. I'm going to start today's lesson with some retrieval as always. So, first of all, first slide. Remember to pause, write down your answers, and then check. Here's the answers. Second slide. And here's the answers. Third slide. And here's the answers. Okay, today guys, we're gonna be looking at the different types of radiation that an isotope can emit. Okay, so first of all, you needed to either have drawn out or printed out the table attached to show my homework. Okay, it's completely fine whichever way you want to do it if you're trying to save some ink. It's absolutely fine just to just draw it out. Okay. So hopefully you've got this in front of you. Okay, I'm gonna fill this in together. So an alpha particle, what is it? It is a helium nucleus. A helium nucleus. And to remember, if we were to draw a helium nucleus, it would look like this, two positive protons, two neutrons, okay? The symbol is an alpha symbol, which looks like this. And then a helium nucleus is ejected, so we've got four, and the two. Okay, and you can check on your period of the table. Okay, so the range in air of an alpha particle is a few centimeters. Okay, speed 10% of the speed of light. Now, doing some research online, these figures vary. Okay. But the idea is that you know which is the fastest and which is the slowest. Okay. Level of ionization. I'm going to come on to look at what ionization means after filling this table in. Okay. And it is the most ionizing. Okay. And it's blocked by paper. So it doesn't take much to block an alpha particle. Okay, moving on to beta. So beta is something that an isotope can emit, and it is a high speed electron. Okay, and the symbol looks like this. And it's ejected an electron, so it looks like that. Okay. Range in air, a bit further this time. It's about one meter. Speed, 95% of the speed of light so a lot faster okay liberalization is medium so quite ionizing but not as ionizing as an alpha particle and it's stopped by a sheet 
of aluminium. Okay, moving on. Finally, gamma radiation. Okay, and this is not a proton, neutral, nor electron. Gamma radiation, as you may remember from a previous topic, is an electromagnetic wave. Okay, and what that means is it's not gained or lost any protons, neutrons, or electrons. And the symbol is a Y. Because it's not lost anything, we write zero, zero to show it's not lost any subatomic particles. Range in air, and uh, this can travel a lot further, at least one kilometer. Okay. Speed is the speed of light as it's part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Level of ionization, okay, it is the least ionizing of all the types of radiation, okay, and it's blocked by thick sheet of lead. And for anyone who's had x-rays, which is quite close to gamma rays on the electromagnetic spectrum, you'll know that you're given a lead sheet to protect any vulnerable parts of your body. Okay. Okay. Now guys, the really important thing is to then do some embedding of this information. So I would like you to spend some time embedding this information using whiteboards or getting your parents to test you. Okay, so pause the video and try to embed this information. Okay, moving on. We're gonna move now to look at what is meant by ionization. That's a funny term, and some of you might recognize it from previous topics. So we're gonna have a look now and write down some key definitions. Okay, so what is meant by ionization? Ionization is caused by radiation that is able to remove or add electrons which produces ions. Okay. An example would be for example, I'm gonna do lithium, nice easy one. Seven, three, is it on the numbers on the periodic table, it's atomic mass and atomic number. Okay, if I was to write its protons, electrons, and neutrons out, it would be three, three, and four. Now, for example, if it was to be ionized through some radiation, so we'll draw some And I some waves to show some ionization going on. What would happen to lithium? So lithium, okay, we'll write out protons, electrons, and neutrons. In order to become an ion, it's going to lose one electron. Okay. So we've got three, two, four. So anything that changes is the electrons. And now, 
when we're drawing ions, we need to remember to draw the charge. So we put it in a box. And what is the overall charge? Remember, protons are positive, electrons are negative. We've got one, two, three positive protons, two negative electrons. So how many more positive protons have I got than electrons? One. So the charge is plus one. Okay, now draw that as a structure. So the electron structure, remembering that the electrons go, first shell holds two, and second shell holds eight. Okay, how many electrons have I got this side? I've got two in the first shell, and then one in the second shell. So it hasn't got a foot out shell. Okay, this side, all I've got is two. There's now an ion. Final thing we need to get down today, what are the potential risks of ionization? Why are we worried about ionization? Firstly, ionization changes the way in which our cells behave. It can alter our cells and DNA's genetic makeup. You can imagine if we're changing our DNA or the way our cells are functioning, it's going to have a drastic effect on their functions in our body and lead to some nasty side effects. Okay, so ionizing radiation can cause burns. and also cancer. Change in the structure of our cells, these cells can then rapidly divide and can spread, and this is what cancer is. That is all we need to get down for today. Again, we've now just written down some more information. It's really important we embed this into our memories before we try and apply it, otherwise you're really gonna struggle. Okay, so for now I'd like you to, again, Make sure you've got all this information down and then spend some time embedding this information. Okay, finally today, guys, we're gonna have a look at some independent practice questions. Again, the next video, we'll have the answers at the start. Okay, first slide, make sure you pause the video, you can print these out or you can just write them down. And our second and final set of questions. Okay, that's it for today, guys. I hope you're well. It's looking a bit miserable outside today um, when I'm recording this lesson. Hopefully, it brightens up again. Take care, and I'll see you next lesson.